This knee cap is called as patella medically and this patella has to track on this knee on, at the center of the knee over the groove. This groove is called as trochlea. If this patella comes out laterally and comes like this, it is called as dislocation of patella and most of the times it comes outside that is laterally and what we do for this is we treat it with uh, one or multiple procedures. First procedure is lateral retinacular release. Most of the times when it comes laterally, these structures, outer structures are tight. We release it. It is called as lateral retinacular release or coronal z-plasty. The second procedure is called medial ligament reconstruction that is MPFL reconstruction. Medial means inside, patella means patella, femur is femur, ligament is ligament. Because it comes out outside, the ligaments here would have stretched or torn. So, we recreate it by fixing this area with the ligament that is MPFL recommend reconstruction. That ligament does not let this patella to come out. And the third procedure commonly done is called tibial tubercle osteotomy. Deviation of this trochlea and this tibial tuberosity not in particular one line. So, the possibility of this patella tendon sitting outside causes this patella to come out. So, whenever we see deviation in TTTG that is tibial tuberosity trochlear groove then we fix this tibial tuberosity medially and fix it inside so that this whole extensor mechanism comes in one line and this patella sits in the center. And the fourth procedure which is not frequently done but, in, but, but then it is very important uh, to understand. Most of the times it is said that if there is any abnormality in this trochlear groove then those people are at risk of development of this dislocation but then it starts with some trauma or some sport in sporting injury. So, if this trochlea, this trochlear groove is not properly developed, then we do something called creating the groove or deepening the groove uh, and sometimes this bump is very prominent that is that does not let this patella to come inside, then we, recess, we reduce this bump. So, either it is called as sulcus deepening trochleoplasty or recession trochleoplasty, one of these procedures where we create this groove, the bed for the patella to sit properly. So, these are the four procedures which are commonly done for this patella dislocation. If you have liked it, please like it. Thank you.